Now let's get our hands on using the outpainting function to dynamically blend together three previously created images in mid-journey. And you can do this with any kind of photos. You can use photos from your phone, from your camera that you found online. Um, really the possibilities are endless, but I'm gonna use three previous photos that I've created before, which are gonna be this car photo, this one, and this one. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. Hit upload, skip cropping, and there we have it. And then we're gonna add or the, first of all, we're gonna place it, and then let's add our next image. So I'm gonna go to the next one, hit enter, and let's move it. Let's see, let's go ahead and move it to this side. I'm gonna zoom out and add a little bit of space, enough space for the generation frame to pull information from each image, but still fill the excess or empty uh, part of the frame in between. So I'm gonna hit place, and then I'm gonna upload our third image, which is this final car shot. Let's go ahead and move it over here and hit the green check mark to place it. And let's get to work choosing where we want our generation frame to be. I'm gonna put it in between these two images. I'm gonna type in colorful lighting with smoke. Perfect, so here are our options. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in Nice. I'm gonna go with the more simplistic option because I really wanna blend these two images, or excuse me, these three images together. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna keep our same prompt, hit generate, and while that's generating, I chose not to include any of the part of this car inside my generation frame just because I didn't want to uh, confuse the software or the tool to add anything we didn't want. So here are our images. That one's perfect. This one's cool, it actually extends the line. That one's okay, it looks like it wanted to put a piece of a car there. That added a little bit of an element that looks cool, but we just don't need it for this image. And this one's flawless, so let's keep that and move our frame to these two images. I'm gonna place our frame there and hit generate. Here are options, I'm gonna zoom in, nice. <laughs> interesting because of the images it pulls from online as references it ended up pulling an image of a person actually holding a smoke can that creates this type of smoke which we do not want let's go with that because that is perfect and I'm gonna scroll down and let's finish out this image I'm gonna click generate one last time and let's look at our options this is pretty flawless that one looks great as well Let's go ahead and go with this first option. I'm gonna now hit download and let's see our masterpiece. And there you have it, three relatively flawlessly combined images using this function in Dolly 2.